we need to have a very serious conversation about ChatGPT and all of these new AI technologies that have been springing up here in the last few months, because I think very, very few people, especially in the free and open source software community, very few people actually realize just how important and how world changing these technologies are going to be. And I'm talking about they're going to change the world in a big way very, very fast because I've seen this play out before. I've seen how the world essentially in just a few years changed just like that with the birth of, say, the Internet. The, the world before the Internet and the world after the Internet were two very different places. Now, nowadays, people can't imagine life without constantly being connected to the internet. But, you know, it wasn't that long, you know, just in my lifetime, I'm, I I was actually in college really before the internet really was a, a thing. So I was practically grown. So I spent all of my younger years and teenage years living before the internet. And it was a very different place. I see kids now, you can't even imagine growing up without the internet like I did. Or cell phones. Cell phones weren't a thing when I was a kid. Nobody carried cell phones. It wasn't until I was an adult that people carrying cell phones around was a normal thing. And now, of course, you've got these smartphones, which are, of course, connected to the internet, and they're, they've got their own operating systems on these phones, and that changed life in a big way. Once again, most people can't imagine life without that smartphone. And it's going to be the same way. in really short time. I think this is going to be faster than it was with the smartphone and with the internet. Within just a couple of years, you're not going to be able to imagine life without things like chat GPT and these other AI technologies that are springing up and very soon will start replacing various occupations. And very soon they're going to really disrupt a lot of major industries. You're going to see a lot of businesses and industries become obsolete practically overnight because of chat GPT and those related AI technologies. But of course, you're going to see new industries spring up and it's going to be it's going to be something to behold. It's going to be some exciting times here in the next couple of years. And of course, a lot of people don't want to admit that chat GPT and all of this stuff is going to permeate the zeitgeist and that everybody is going to be using this kind of technology soon. A lot of people are resistant to change, and I'm certainly one of those people. I'm a bit of a Luddite, but I'm also a realist. I never deny reality. I have seen how this plays out. I hate smartphones. I hate cell phones, but I accept the fact that everybody has one now. <laughs> now, I don't necessarily have to have one, but I get it. And this is the same thing. I, I know everyone will be using chat GPT, and you can already see it in just a matter of months. How many millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions? I don't know the numbers. Many millions of people around the world are already using chat GPT on a daily basis to help them do their schoolwork or to help them in their job, to help them write their master's thesis or their dissertation or whatever it happens to be. And we're kind of already seeing how ChatGPT is already running some companies out of business. Uh, here just a few days ago, because I follow the stock market, I noticed this company here, Chegg. Most people probably have never heard Chegg, but it's an educational technology company, an ed tech company. And they uh, have databases of like educational uh, software and answers where students can, you know, go and look up basically textbook documentation for various things. I really don't know what Chegg does, but it's an ed tech company. And they just posted their earnings a couple of days ago and their earnings were really bad. And they said that ChatGPT, the birth of ChatGPT has absolutely wrecked their company. And you can see their stock basically dropped by about 50% in one day. It went from like $18 to $9, you know, once they announced that basically ChatGPT was absolutely kicking their ass and they just can't compete. And there's going to be other, especially ed tech companies. They're, they're going to be obsolete. I remember when I was in high school and in college, we used to use Cliff's Notes, you know, the little booklets, basically your little cheat sheet for, you know, if you had a book that you didn't want to read the entire book, you'd go by the Cliff's Notes. And uh, I think Cliff Notes is still around. I think it's owned by another ed tech company now. I think it's owned by a uh, Course Hero, which, you know, all these ed tech companies are going to be obsolete. Why would you need, you know, the Chegg database of information or Cliff's Notes or anything like that when you have ChatGPT? So automatically, those companies, they're done. 
right? No one will ever need that kind of technology again. And another one, and I know this is going to be controversial, but I can see a huge percentage of our teachers being replaced by AI because honestly, most teachers are not good teachers in the public school system. And honestly, AI would be a better teacher than 99.9% .9 of the teachers that are actually in that industry. I know, that, I know that's something that a lot of people, especially those of you that have uh, teaching degrees, and, and you, you, you may not want to accept, but that is the fact. We saw this with the internet. One of my favorite places to hang out as a kid, because I was an avid reader, was the library. And with the birth of the World Wide Web, libraries became obsolete almost overnight. You have very, very few public libraries left in this country here in the US and librarians. I remember when that was a normal job. You'd go to college to study library technology to get a degree so you could go be a librarian because libraries were such an important part of society. And now it's pretty much a dead industry. No one, I, I, I can't remember the last time I heard anyone say that they wanted to be a librarian. And most of you guys know before I started my YouTube channel, I worked in the retail industry for many, many years. And certainly the rise of the internet is a big reason why retail is not a big industry anymore here in the U.S. And so many of the big retailers that I knew when I was in my teenage years, for example, are all gone. They all went bankrupt. And, you know, department stores, that was the big thing when I was a kid. You had malls with these huge, what they called department stores, because you had different departments, the men's departments, the kids' departments, you know, and jewelry and all of this. And these were huge stores, sometimes multi-story, you know, stores with you know, three, four, five stories. And, you know, these huge department stores back then, they do like $50 million in sales every year at one location. and that's not the case now with the rise of the internet and especially retailers like Amazon and Walmart. You, you, you won't find an, a department store like that anymore. They don't exist. If you find any of them that are still in business, they look like it's a yard sale inside. You go in and 80% of those huge places, if they're still there at your local mall, are now just... They're just empty and dead and lifeless, and they do practically no business. And certainly the rise of cell phones and smartphones certainly changed a, a lot of things. Obviously, no one has a landline anymore, right? The, the phone companies, many of the phone companies that were dependent on just selling old school landline phones, that's gone, right? <laughs> you either had to adapt and, and move to mobile phones or you just went out of business. And we're already seeing this with ChatGPT, and we're going to see a lot more of this soon. So many people's jobs, and you're already seeing this. You're seeing a lot of large companies in various industries starting to lay off thousands of people. And many of these companies are starting to realize that AI can do the jobs that a lot of these people, these real life human beings can do. I go through fast food drive throughs now and, and there's not a, a real person that takes my order, right? It's just all automated. You just talk to a screen and the screen talks back to you. And it's it's really weird, but it kind of makes sense. You don't really need a person to do such a task. And when I say that ChatGPT is going to cause a lot of these jobs to be obsolete, is that a bad thing? Is that necessarily a bad thing? I would argue no. Uh, I mean, I don't like anybody losing their jobs, but it's it's kind of yin and yang. It's kind of you know, every cloud has a silver lining. The internet, I, I mentioned how the internet changed a lot of the world. A lot of uh, businesses and occupations were completely obsolete and unnecessary after the rise of the internet. But so many new industries cropped up because of the internet. The same thing if you go back, you know, 150 years ago with the birth of the automobile, right? The automobile completely changed life around the world because no longer... I mean, you, you didn't need all those horses, right? You no longer had all these people raising horses because everybody had to have a horse to travel and the related industries around horses, like, you know, people that made carriages and buggies, people that made saddles. What about farriers that had to shoe all of these millions of horses that were in the country? All of, all of that was unneeded after the rise of the automobile. But the rise of the automobile gave rise to so many... You know, supporting industries, not just the makers of the cars themselves, but now you had people, you know, making all the accessories and the tires and the parts. And then you had gas stations and then the rise of the oil companies to support 
the car industry, and it's going to be the same thing with ChatGPT. ChatGPT is going to be a boon, I think, for the world economy once this thing gets going. So where is all this going? Where is ChatGPT and all this AI technology, where is it leading us? I have no idea. But I think in 10 years, the world is going to look vastly different than it looks right now. And I'm okay with that. In fact, I'm pretty excited to see where all this goes. And I hope you're excited too. It's one of the things why I made this video today. I think a lot of people are kind of slow to recognizing some of this stuff, some of these major changes as they're happening. I know a lot of people didn't recognize it with the internet back in the 1990s. A lot of people just didn't understand computers in general, but especially the internet. They didn't get it until all of a sudden, one day, it was like, it all happened in like one year. The year was 1996 and the rise of America Online, AOL. All of a sudden, everyone had to have a computer and it had to be connected to the internet. It happened just like that. The same thing with cell phones. All of a sudden, everybody had to have a cell phone in their pocket at all times. And this is going to be the case with ChatGPT. And I, I just want people to recognize it that way, you know, you're not blindsided by some of the aftermath of what is coming. And before I go, I need to thank the producers of this episode. I need to thank Gabe, James, Maxim, Mahomes, Too Bald, Matt, Mimit, Mitchell, Paul, Royal, West, Armor, Dragon, Bash, Potato, Chuck, Commander, Angry, George, Lee, Marstrom, Methos, Nate, Arian, Paul, Peace, Arch, and Floor, Polytech, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Roland, Tools, Devler, Willie, and Zenibit. These guys, my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode about ChatGPT would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my supporters over on patreon i don't have any corporate sponsors i'm sponsored by you guys the community you want more videos about linux and free and open source software or sometimes proprietary technology like chat gpt subscribe to DistroTube over on patreon peace guys and no this video was not scripted by chat gpt